birthday. Happy birthday, PNU. Okay, asante sana mpokea salamu zetu za waipa. Thank you. Thank you very much. Hao oh, wamekuwa rafiki wanatembea na sisi. Thank you very much. Kulikuwa na representative wa Jubilee. PNU Kazi endele Kwa majina anaitwa Pauline Joroge. Mimi ni deputy organizing secretary wa Jubilee Party. I'm very happy to be here today. Na kuona tunaendelea kufanya kazi pamoja, tunaendelea kujenga vya, za vyama vyetu. And I want to say that if we work together to the end, tukikosa kukubali mgawanyiko, tutachukua uongozi wa hii nchi. We have leaders, credible leaders tunawaona hapa na wengine wako upande wetu ambao wamefanya kazi kwa mawizara zika, uh, bizara zikanawiri, wakafanya kazi kwa county, tukaona maendeleo. Saa hii yenye tunaona tu ni confusion peke yake. Kazi ya iendelei, si ndio? Kazi ilikuwa So lazima tufanye kazi pamoja ndio kutoka 2027 kazi ifanya nini? Iendelee. Asanteni sana. Thank you very much. Sasa naona iko e yetu iko e ready. Wapi wimbo ya PNU as we launch as, as we launch the short short code. Chama cha tu cha PNU chama cha pendesa kasi endere chama Chatu chapi enu, Santi, Santi Sana, Asanti kwa hiyo wimbo mzuri. Sasa hii muspeleke huko si unataka kuiona. Tunashuhudia sasa uanchilisi mpya wa chama chetu. Leo we are kick starting our national recruitment drive. And we are starting it with an online registration which is starting today. And as you can see here, kwa hawa warembo, kuna iyo code yetu ya kujichazilisha kama mwanachama. Lakini ni miambiwa kiongozi wetu wa simio, baba raila amefika na amefika wakati mwema. E, mweke musiki ya ingie tumukaribishe Ndiyo tuwese kufanya launching pamoja na yeye Chama 
pita munya kasi endele ukiwa na pita munya kasi endele kiongozi wa matendo kasi endele asiye na ukabila kasi endele asiye na ukabila kasi endele lelelele pianu lelelele pianu lelelele pianu lelelele pianu Shariki chama chetu PNU kazi iendele Kas kasi ni kusini wimbo ni ule ule tu kazi iendele Viongozi wa PNU ni watu wapenda watu kazi iendele Wakiongozwa na mheshimiwa Peter Munyagatira o kazi iendele Kasi endele, PNU chama chetu Kasi endele, ukiwa na pita munya Kasi endele, ukiwa na pita munya Kasi endele, kiongozi wa matendo Kasi endele, asie na ukabila Kasi endele, asie na ukabila Kasi endele, lelelele PNU Lelelele PNU, lelelele PNU
zetu cha BNU chama cha pendesa kasi endele chama chetu chama chetu cha BNU chama cha pendesa kasi endele chama chetu cha BNU Nairobi kasi Kenya endele Mombasa chama chetu cha BNU Nameru kasi Kenya endele Nakuru chama chetu cha BNU Laikipia kasi Kenya endele Kisumu chama chetu cha BNU Naivasha kasi Kenya endele Naemu chama chetu cha BNU Naluya kasi Kenya endele Wakamba chama chetu cha BNU kasi Kenya endele Kasiendele, kasiendele, na biendu, biendu, kasiendele, biendele, biendele, biendu, kasiendele, kasiendele, na biendu. Ita muya ki wandele ba tunaweza, tunaweza, tunaweza. Ita muya ki wandele. Tunaweza, tunaweza uongozi wa Kenya Bisa munya ki wandereba Tunaweza, tunaweza, tunaweza Bisa munya ki wandereba Tunaweza, tunaweza uongozi wa Kenya Zera setu sa piedu siko sawa Siko sawa, siko sawa Zera setu
Thank you, DJ. Thank you. When we were in the middle of the launch to Barikiwa to have a special guest, can we all stand up and welcome Baba to the event? Tafadhali. Wapi wimbo yetu? DJ. Zante Baba. Wapi amjakaribisha Baba? Wananek. Chama chetu, chama chetu cha BNU, chama cha pendesa, kasi endele. Chama chetu, chama chetu cha BNU, chama cha pendesa, kasi endele. Karibishe baba. Chama chetu cha BNU, Nairobi, kasi Kenya endele. Chama chetu cha BNU, Ameru. Karibu baba Karibu baba Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you DJ Thank you, thank you Asante ni sana, asante ni sana. Asante ni sana. Thank you. We can all have our seats. Let's have our seats. Yeah. Media, uh, let's move to one side kindly. Let's move to one side kindly. Thank you, thank you very much. Baba, before you joined us, we were talking about 15 years since PNU was registered and how, if organized, uh, we intend under this coalition to take power in 2027. And we were just launching. We were launching the short code for members to join, like members to join the party, as we start this uh, momentous journey. And for that purposes, I'll call our party leader. He was saying a few words with regard to the short code. Then we can go on to the next level of the event. Na tunataka kila mta jaribu hii number tuone kama inafanya kazi.
Thank you Secretary General wa PNU wakili Frank Walukwe Nataka nichukue nafasi hii nikaribishe viongozi wote wa muungano wetu wa azimio wakiongozwa na baba Raila Amolo Ndinga ambaye amehudhuria kikao chetu cha pia ni cha siku ya leo lakini kabla tufike kwa kwa utuba tulikuwa na sherehe ya kuanzisha usalisha uh, usajili hupia wa members wapya wa chama cha PNU tumekuwa hapo miaka mingi miaka 15 tumekuwa tukifanya recruitment chama imeendelea kushika nguvu lakini watu endelea kuzaliwa wengine ni wandogo tunataka waelewe waingie kwa chama hii ya PNU na tumesema kwa sababu Kenya imekuwa digitali sio lazima tuwe tunabeba kandi ti unaweka kandi kwa mfuko naenda ukionyesha tunataka tuingie tutumie teknolojia tuweze kufikia kila mtu katika eneo letu lote la taifa kwa hivyo leo siku ya leo ajenda yetu moja muhimu sana ni hiyo launching of our digital registration of members so that wherever you are in the country you can register and become a member of PNU without having you to travel to any office or to talk to anybody because what we need is your heart where your heart is if your heart is with our party join it directly you don't require any intermediary to become a member of PNU kwa hivyo kwa kipupi hii ndio short code yetu ya chama na nataka hata wale wako hapa members tuanze digitali pia tuone kama tutaingia hiyo short code ni star 519 star 58 hash kwa hivyo tunataka as a way of uh, starting the exercise kila mtu anjaribu wale wako na masimu mchukue sasa muanze na niko na niko na gift ya yule atakuwa wa kwanza kuingia niko na gift umeingia kabla hata mimi kusema <laughs> sasa wale wameingia bila kusema wacha tuanze upya ndio tuweze kujua yule wa kwanza wao umekata laini kidogo sasa tuanze 1 2 3 tuanze kuingia tujue yule atakuwa wa kwanza kujisajili kama mwanachama wa PNU kwa njia ya kidigitali nataka kuona yule wa kwanza kuwa memba wengine naona hata hawashukui simu sawa hawafanyi watu wameingia wale wameingia ni wangapi nione kwa mikono mikono juu wale wameweza kuingia <laughs> Sasa wako wengi. Lakini gift iko hapo kwa mama Mwita. Women Linda wa chama wa Chupia. Nimpigieni makofi kwa kuingia kuwa memba wa kwanza wa PNU wa Kindijitali. Kwa hivyo hiyo sherehe sasa tumefanya na najua wananchi popote wako katika taifa la Kenya. Kutoka Mandera kuelekea huko Kilifi kuelekea huko kwa baba bondo kuelekea pande ile nyingine eneo lile lingine kuelekea meru kuelekea embu wapi kila mahali sasa wako na uwezo wa kuwa wanachama wa chama cha PNU bila kupitia mambo ya register ama kitabu kwa kutumia simu yao wanaingia wanakuwa memba asanteni sana nafikiri hiyo sherehe tumeingia sasa tunaelekea wa awamu ya pili. Thank you very much. I hope mmekuwa tumepata wanachama kadhaa. Eh? 
mtakuja kuchukua gift venye party leader amesema sasa awamu ya pili ni sasa celebration yetu ya miaka ngapi miaka ngapi PNU kazi endelee aya naona iko wageni wengi ambao ingekuwa vizuri watusalimie party leader ndampatia opportunity tena ata sema jinsi ambayo ataita wageni wetu wa leo si mmefurahi tuko na wageni mmefurahi wapi makofi na vigelegele asante sana party leader asante sana na shukuru tena kwa nafasi hii ndio tuelekea awamu ya pili ya sherehe ya kuwa tumekuwa chama cha, chama tumesimama imara kwa miaka kumi na tano na kama vile secretary general aliwaeleza kwa historia kidogo mwanshilisi wa kwanza wa chama cha PNU ni mzee Mwai Kibaki ambaye alikuwa rais wa Kenya na wakati huo baba atakumbuka Saidi chama cha PNU ilikuwa chama ya miungano wa vyama kama vile tuko saa hii muungano wa vyama wa azimio watu walikuwa vyama vingine wengine walikuwa NAC na wengine wakakuwa vyama vingine e, flower party na nini sisi zote tukaingia kwa mrengo wetu tulikuwa kwa PNU Ma, memba wa kwanza ambaye alienda kwa kura peke yake akiwa memba kabla ya wengine waingie alikuwa mwai kibaki sisi tukawa vyama vile vingine baadaye tukakuwa chama moja kakuwa chama but Belen ilikuwa chama ya muungano kama vile mnajua azimio lakini saa hii ni chama ambayo iko na direct membership na ikakuwa tamu ya pili ya mwai kibaki ikakuwa ruling party ilikuwa inaongoza na wakati huo hiyo serikali ilikuwa na PNU lakini pia ilikuwa serikali kulikuwa na handshake kati ya uh, Kibaki na Raila Ondinga akakuwa prime minister Kibaki na akakuwa president Kibaki akiwa anaongoza PNU kwa historia kidogo hiyo ndiyo sababu chama inaitwa Party of National Unity kwa sababu ilikuwa inaleta vyama tofauti kutoka Kenya ya Kenya yote kuwa memba wa, wa chama. Sitaki kuingia sana kwa hiyo tutakuwa na mikutano ya kueleza saidi hiyo kazi kwa sababu leo ni siku ya kuanza recruitment na tutaenda kila eneo la Kenya kufungua maofisi na kurukuti members wa chama. Kwa hivyo langu muhimu sasa ni shukrani kwa viongozi wa vyama vietu wa, ya azimio ambao wamekuja kuwa nazi siku ya leo tuko na wawakilishi wa vyama mbalimbali na wengine pia nafikiri wako njiani lakini kwa sababu ya munda tutaanza kuzungumziwa na kusalimiwa na wale wako tukiendelea alafu tuta, mwisho tutakata keki ya 15 years kwa hivyo tunaanza kwanza tusalimiwe na viongozi wenzetu wale wako hapa na nisitishe ya kwamba PNU ni chama cha azimio. Hatuja banduka hapo. Azimio inaendelea kuwa kupata nguvu zaidi. Najua kuna story story huko ambazo huwa zinakuwa sponsored na wale wa watu wa Kenya kuisha. Hawa ndio wanakuwa na story mingi si wiki simio imeenda namna hii siwi nini wakipiua makelele kule kwa sababu wananchi wamekadhirika wanasema ni asimio kila siku wakiota asimio hata wakati asimio haiko huko iko kazini yake asimio sasa wananchi wamechoka yale mambo walielezwa mengi mengi siwi tutawafanyia nini mtakuwa na wifi kila mahali mkitembea Siyui mama mboga atakuwa kiongozi minister siwi wa gani 
Siyo hii bonda bonda zitakuwa sa aina gani? Hiyo suri zote mwaka moja na nusu hakuna kitu hakuna kitu tunaweza kusema hiyo serikali imefanya mi wanajiuliza nikiwa peke yangu ni kitu gani moja tu moja muhimu naweza kutaja niseme serikali hii ya Kenya kwa kwisha imefanya kama ni mambo ya project launching ya project ni zile zilifanya na mheshimiwa Uhuru Kenyatta. Ndizo wanasunguza wanasunguka wa launch mara ya pili, mara ya tatu. Wakirundia promises ya zile zingine watafanya mara ya nne. Hiyo ndio msunguko tunaona. Na wakiendelea hivi wananchi wanaendelea kukasirika ndio unaona kelele. Hiyo kelele iletu na mtu yeyote ni wananchi kuwa wamekosa sasa imani na yale mambo wamielezwa yote ni bure baba ataeleza sasa hivi mimi tunataka kuchangia kidogo kusema hivyo kwa hivyo asimio imesimama imara na sisi kama pia ni tuko hapo ndani atubanduki Tunaweza kubanduka na mna gani? Tukitasama legacy ya kiongozi wa PNU msemu wa ikibaki ile kasi alifanya. Kufufua uchumi wa Kenya ulikuwa umekwisha kwa miaka 25 ya moi. Akaifufua Kenya ikarudi, uchumi ukarudi, eshima ikarudi, azira, ajira sikaanza kupatikana, tukakuwa na confidence that it can be done. Kasi naweza fanyika. Sasa tuko kwa mteremko tukimaliza hiyo kazi yote hata ile imechangiwa na uhuru baada ya kibaki hiyo ni mteremko sasa ni kumalizia kwa hivyo sisi lazima tuwe kule kuko na timu ambayo inataka kubandilisha hiyo na hiyo timu nyingine ni asimio la umoja ikiongozwa na baba Raila Amolo Ndinga kwa hivyo nataka niwaojilishe viongozi wale wengine tuko nao kwa vyama mbalimbali mbali, ambao wamekuja kushikana nazi hapa tuko na mheshimiwa Wanjakoya hia nani amjui na siri kwa ya introduction alafu tuko na mheshimiwa ndugu yangu wakili Yunjiri wa Malwa hapa Tuko na pia mheshimiwa senator wa Mbua kiongozi wa Waipa na pia ambaye anawakilisha mheshimiwa Kalonzo Musyoka kwa mkutano wa siku ya leo. Na pia tuko na kiongozi wa asimio katika mbunge. Mimi sitaki kumuita minority kwa sababu sisi ndio majority huko hata. Tukihesab members wa asimio kwa bunge ndio wengi. Sasa hiyo miujiza ya kumfanya yeye minority ndio majority huko sijui ilitoka wapi lakini ako hapa mheshimiwa ndai na viongozi wengine watafika tukiendelea kwa hivyo nataka nianze bila kutupa kuchukua wakati mwingi ni mwalike kiongozi wa wale wengi mbunge atuweze kukistati mkutano hii yetu atueleze kwa ile mambo inakuja tunajua kuna mambo inakuja mbaya saidi kwa mbunge mambo inakuja mbaya saidi mnafikiria umetoswa ushuru lakini ile inakuja kama unafikiria kuna ushuru umepata utashangaa ile inakuja ni kama anataka kurudisha ile ilikuwa inaitwa heart tax matiti tax wakati wa ukoloni ilikuwa sio ati mimi naunda hiyo wakati wa ukoloni kulikuwa na hiyo ilikuwa hiyo nyumba inatozwa ushuru ngombe ushuru na ukiwa na, na msichana ushuru ilikuwa inaitwa hiyo naita matiti tax ilikuwa hii serikali inazunguka kwa hiyo sasa ikitafuta anything 
anything it can get some money lakini huyu atanyorosha huko mpigieni makofi wandai akizungumza na nyinyi ah uh, asante uh, sana mheshimiwa peter munya kiongozi wa azimio mheshimiwa raila udinga wanachama wa pnu amjambo mimi langu ni kidogo sana na kwanza kabisa kwa niaba yangu na kwa niaba ya wabunge wenzangu wa azimio katika bunge la kitaifa Tumekuja ili tujiunge nanyi katika hii hafla ya kusherekea miaka 15 ya chama cha PNU na vile vile kuanzisha usajili wa wanachama kwa njia ya, ya digitali. PNU as you all know is a party with a rich history. For some of us who belong to ODM We remember with nostalgia the coalition government that was formed between PNU and the ODM between President Mwai Kibaki and Prime Minister Raila Amolo Odinga. That is one government in the post multi-party Kenya that one can say left a mark. That is one government that for sure we can say move this country from point A to point B and therefore we are very proud to be associated with PNU especially today as you celebrate your 15 years of existence and as you launch your membership drive secondly PNU as a member of the Azimio coalition is an integral part of our movement going forward kwa vile inchi wakati huu tunapoongea iko mahali mbaya sana kwa sababu hawa jamaa wa Kenya Kwisha hawa jamaa wa UDA wameshindwa na kazi kwa hivyo inchi nzima inatutegemea sisi wanazimio na ni lazima therefore tuanze safari leo kwa sababu safari ya kesho huanza siku gani na siku njema huonekana saa ngapi asubuhi na mapema hafla hii ni ishara ya kwamba sisi kama wanazimio tumeanza safari na ni safari ya kukomboa nchi la pili mimi ningependa kusema ya kwamba nyinyi wana pia nyumba kuna bahati kwa sababu kiongozi wenu mheshimiwa Peter Munya ni kiongozi wenye busara ni kiongozi ambaye ana msimamo si mtu ya kuyumba yumba. Mheshimiwa Peter Munya asante sana kwa kusimama imara. Kwa kusimama imara. Mimi nawatakia heri na baraka. Lakini la muhimu natarajia kwamba wakati wa uchaguzi ujao ukifika vya matanzu vya azimio viwe zimekomaa. Sehemu zote pembeni zote za nchi. Na wakati huu tupate wajumbe wengi wa bunge la kitaifa katika chama cha PNU. Na wabunge wa county assemblies ndio tukiunda serikali azimio tuwe, tuwe, tuwe na serikali ambayo iko na mizizi pembeni zote za nchi. Asanteni sana na Mwenyezi Mungu awabariki. Thank you very much. God bless. Tujieni wandai makofi. Hiyo ni kiongozi yako na usemi vizuri sana huko kwa bunge na tutategemea yeye kwa vita ile inaendelea kuhakikisha wakenya wajamalizwa na ushuru wa pesa ambayo hatujui naenda kufanya nini sasa nataka ni mwalike kiongozi mwingine shupavu ambaye anatetemesha dunia huku na si mwingine ni profesa Wanja Koya one of the most educated Kenyans na mwimbie kawimbo hiyo asikie vizuri naona ana Chama chetu chama chetu cha PNU chama cha pendesa kasi endele Chama chetu chama chetu cha PNU Asante asante
DJ. Nikimuona baba mimi huwa nachangamuka. Sijui ni kitu gani nilipata kwa baba. Mheshimiwa Munya Sijui nita describe namna gani. One of the most honest trusted so many honest yes. trusted, trusted and direct. And direct. He speaks his mind. Mheshimiwa baba Unajua ukiwa mahali mimi utetemeka. Sijui eh, ni figo ama ni nini. Na hiyo kutetemka kwangu ni furaha. Because of baba tuko hapa. And because of baba I am alive. And because of baba hata wewe ndio ufanye namna hii kuniondoa kwa baba wewe mwenyewe ndio utajiondoa. Mheshimiwa hiji ni Amalwa. Mheshimiwa pia wandai. Mheshimiwa wa Kitui nimekula kwako najua vile uko na mrembo kanatengeneza chakula mzuri. <laughs> Ningependa kusema hivi. Kwanza ningetaka kumshukuru baba na ningetema ningetaka kukosoa pia sio baba. Na ningetaka kumuonya mheshimiwa Munya kwamba ukienda Bungoma ukienda Bungoma tafuta Eugene. Ukienda Bungoma tafuta baba. Ukienda Bungoma tafuta wajakoya. Manake kule kuna mkatili fulani kule sitataja jina lake. Ambaye kazi yake ni kulin kungojea wale wanasiasa wenzake. Wakienda Bungoma anatengeneza mawe. Na hiyo mawe anatoka wapi Uganda. Na anatengeneza watu na visu kwenda kupiga wengine na kuangamiza kule Bungoma. Baba sijui kama ninasema ukweli. Bwana Munya ukienda huko mheshimiwa chunga there is a politician from Bungoma county a man who can never be elected apart from fear causing fear among people a man who has put other people's lives at stake because anataka ku he wants to please Ruto let me bring it out clearly that we are aware of him and we are also going to warn him akienda mahali pengine Kenya Musimfukuze welcome him but ujinga wake na mimi ndio nimesema utaisha before 2027 Sumenipigia makofi tamani That man should know that Kenya of today is a Kenya of young and old is a Kenya of men and women is a Kenya of people who have gone through the transition the transition of democracy led by none other than Raila Molodinga. A man who has suffered, a man who has endured suffering, a man who has been in prison, a man who has been fed in so, on so many things, but he refused to die because his spirit is still alive. It's because of that spirit of Raila Molodinga that all of us are here. It is because of that spirit that some of us want to smell and get away with a bit of it. So that we can come to self-realization. And we as members of Roots Party, please, if you have joined Munyas, na una tumianga ele kitu ingine, tafadhali kaa huko. Tutakuitaji huko. Manake najua hata kwa kina Munya kule, wakani likuwa natangaza kuwa rais, likuwa nataka kuwa perekea kiwanja hapo isiolo ndiyo. Sasa tukimea ile ingine na ingine, tunatua hapo tukipereka huko inje. Lakini baba atakamelisha yu. Kwa sababu baba niambia, akichukua, ataweka ka kitu ingine hapo isiolo. Surely Baba, I want to ask you openly, notoriously, and in front of everybody. Kwamba watu wa Isiolo, or Isiolo County, Isiolo should be made the capital city of Kenya. Nimesema ama sikiasema? Na Nairobi should remain an industrial city. Because with Isiolo being a capital city of this nation, the people of Meru, the people of Garissa, the people of any other neighboring from Mount Kenya will have easy access to the international market. Kutakuwa na kuajiriwa kazi pale, ma hospitali zita pandwa pale, zita jengwa pale, puna mtu haita kufa kutoka ukikija Nairobi. Na hiyo mina muamba baba afikiria because baba you are the president. Ilichukuliwa tu lakini you are the president. Na hiyo yote ni malilio ya watu wa Roots Party. Ili wa meru mahali wa mekaa, wakamba ambawa natoka Eastern. Waria wote mahali walioko. Na wa Islam wote ambao wako pande hiyo. Wawe na access to the international market because what they are producing today can help this country rejuvenate economically. 
we can move on because Nairobi is congested. Let us have a mindset of moving away from here and devolve our capital city. Finally, I'm also asking Baba to reconsider bringing in three tiers of government. It was Baba's original idea, but then we are for it in Roots Party. And Mwishmiwa Munya also want to look at it that way. So that we have a federal government. Federal meaning regional government. So that we can have counties within a state. So that we can have counties within a state. Ndi wakuria, wawe na county yao. Wateso, wawe na county yao. Watu wa saboti, wawe na county yao. Lakini kwa mrengo ya state. So that we have regional governments. Parallel taxation will be easy. We shall have fair taxation. We shall have regional taxation, state taxation, and every state will be given its obligation and duty. We cannot take a, a county like Narok, which produces rice or wheat, hides and skins, meat and milk and tourism. Pesa mba inatoa pale inapereko central government. Ili wapewe kidogo. Iyo ni uongo. Watu wa Narok wanitakana wakai kwa county yao, wakiwa na regional assembly na kuru, ili waseme wakwamba ile pesa mba imetoka county yetu hapa. How do we develop this first to us so that we could have a national ceiling? Na nimesema hivyo, tafadhali siku ingine nitaongea na munya ukija kwetu kakamega kuna mrembo wa nyumbani kwetu huyu. Tafadhali liku. Ukija kwetu kakamega kwanzia leo kurikrut utalala kwangu. Semo utalala kwangu. Asante ni sana baba. Kwako. Thank you very much. Mimi ni mgeni wake nitalala kwake. Si ndio? Hayo <laughs> ni muhimu ni urafiki na unaona chama chetu kiko kila mahali. Huyu amekuwa memba miaka mingi. Hawa ndanda wamekuwa wanchilisi kutoka samani. Kwa hivyo sasa nataka ni mwalike rafiki yangu wa miaka mingi hata wakati alikuwa kwa hii kazi ya ya hawa watu, hawa marafiki hapa. Alikuwa kwa hii kazi. Na sasa ameendelea mpaka yeye ndio the celebrated senator wa chama cha Waipa ambaye ni kiongozi ameheshimika sana uko senate na pia yeye ndiye ataklisha mheshimiwa Kalonzo Musyoka hapa ambaye ametembea atatueleza saindi mheshimiwa senator wa Mbua pia ni makofi akija siwe kama kuna wimbo Ah, thank you, thank you. Asante sana. Ah, kupitia kwa kiongozi wetu wa Azimio One Kenya Alliance, the right honorable engineer Raila Molo Odinga, the party leader wa chama cha PNU, my brother, my friend, uh, waziri Peter Munya, na viongozi wa Azimio ambao umefika hapa siku ya leo the National Executive Council of PNU nataka niwasalimie mchana wa leo PNU kazi endelee PNU kazi endelee kazi endelee asante sana 
So sisi tumekuja hapa siku ya leo kwa mwaliko wa party leader wenu kuja kusimama na nyinyi kwa afla ya leo as you launch the digital registration of membership across the country and as you also celebrate a 15 years of your existence tumefika leo kwa furaha kubwa kuja leo kwa furaha kubwa kwa sababu sisi kama wanaazimio tukiona an affiliate member of azimio moving in the right direction tunajua coalition iko imara nimefika hapa leo kama mwakilishi wa party leader wa chama cha Waipa His Excellency Dr. Stephen Kalonzo Musyoka amenituma ni kujili mwakilishi leo kwa sababu ameenda safari kidogo na akasema leo ni lazima nikae hapa nikae na nyinyi katika yafla yenu akasema nikifika nilete salamu zake mmezipokea Asante sana ya pili niseme mimi nitakuwa na maneno matatu ambayo nitasema alafu nikae ya kwanza ni kuwakumbusha vijana wa PNU kama mnasikiliza ingekuwa mzuri sana kama ungesikiza ingekuwa mzuri sana. Kwa the things I'm saying about your party are very important. Iki chama cha PNU kwa historia ya siasa za Kenya. It has made history. As a party that was formed only three months into an election and formed government Kama unakumbuka vizuri PNU ilitengenezwa around September of 2007 Just a few months a few days a few weeks into the December elections Na vile kiongozi wenu amesema wakati ule between September 2007 and January 2008 the only member of PNU was one president Emilio Stanley Mwaikibaki wengine walikuwa ni affiliate members uh, kama Vyama for Kenya for people Kanu DP they were affiliate members of of PNU then after 2008 the party was registered it grew na msisahau historia Nilikuwa naambia kiongozi wenu msisahau historia Uhusiano wa PNU and Wiper as political parties dates back to the registration of PNU If you remember in January 2008 after the disputed presidential elections results It is Wiper that joined PNU uh, to stabilize Kibaki's government. Alafu there was after that the coalition government or the the government of 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 ODM and PNU and Wiper on the other side. Ndio sasa ikafanya kazi and we all know those of us who have been in uh, politics and studied the politics of this country well that perhaps remains the only government that served Kenyans the way Kenyans are supposed to be served by their governments so uhusiano wa waipa na na PNU it runs deep nimeambia kiongozi wenu in fact our relationship is so deep that all our colors are the same Waipa is royal blue, white and red. PNU is royal blue, white and red. So we are one and the same people. The second thing that I wanted to say. Sisi kama wana Waipa. We strongly believe, strongly believe that the salvation of this country in the leadership 
lies within Azimio. Outside Azimio hakuna maisha. Outside Azimio is Kenya kwanza na ni shida ambayo tuko nayo sasa. Kwa hivyo sisi tunataka tuone PNU beyond this registration party leader. We want to see a strong PNU. We want to see a very strong ODM. We want to see a very strong Roots Party. We want to see a very strong DAPK Party. We want to see a very strong uh, Jubilee Party. Because as a coalition, we are as strong as our weakest affiliate party. Sisi, wale ambao tunasoma Biblia ni kena kumaliza. Najua Mungu alifika mahali Yesu alifika mahali alipokuwa na paa kwenda juu mbinguni <coughs> akaambia wanafunzi wake Sasa mimi nimewaacha huku lakini sitawaacha kama watoto ya yatima Nikishafika kule kwa baba nitawatumia Roho Mtakatifu atawaongoza kwa maneno yenu Na akifika muanze kueneza injili and begin in Jerusalem mkitoka Jerusalem muende Judea mkitoka Judea muende Samaria and the rest of the world sasa mimi nataka kusema hivi siku ya leo kwa sababu nyinyi mmeanza kujisajili kijitali na hiyo hiyo kitu imeanza Kenya mzima sasa mimi upate leader wa PNU. Kwa sababu PNU iko na Jerusalem yake. Mimi nataka PNU pale Jerusalem. Muende mushike Jerusalem ikuwe strong na imara kabisa. Because mukishika Jerusalem ikuwe imara, azimio iko imara Jerusalem. Si ndio? Mukitoka hapo Jerusalem, muingie hapo Judea. Sawa sawa? Hiyo mshike ikuwe Sawa sawa. Azimio that that baba that is the only way that Azimio is going to win the next election with a landslide. We strengthen our political basis across the country. And we should be very careful about something called friendly fire. Because friendly fire is fire and it kills. Si ndio? Ukipigwa risasi hata kama ni ya ndugu yako ama ni ya mama yako, ikikupiga utafanya nini? Utakufa. We must be very careful about friendly fire. Tuhakikishe kwamba kama 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 PNU it has a base in a region. Sisi wote wanazimio. Tunaenda pale kwa base ya PNU, we protect that base for Azimio na tunajua mwenye kutusikilia pale ni PNU. Tukina mahali ngine tuna, tuna strengthen our parties across the country. That way hawa watu tutawapungia pumzi na tuwatoa mapema mapema. Ya mwisho hii serikali ambayo inaongoza Kenya yetu siku ya leo. Baba nimesoma uh, news this morning. Nimeona inflation in January has actually jumped to 6.9 almost 7%. That means that the cost of living, the value of our currency, the cost of doing business in this country is becoming a lot more difficult by the day. Na hawa watu ukiwauliza wanasema <laughs> tuko na mpango. Juzi nimemmsikiliza bwana Musalia Mudavadi na mimi nahurumia ya kidogo. Cuz it, it seems to have lost direction. You know, he seems to I don't know. Nasema sasa very soon very soon mutaona ma, mabadiliko. Very soon. Sasa hii mabadiliko ilianza ilianza August last year mpaka saa hii very soon mabadiliko yatakuja hiyo itafika kweli hakuna mabadiliko yatafika sisi sasa ukweli wa Mungu wa Kenya and i say this with confidence ukweli wa Mungu ni kwamba Kenyans now ni lazima tuvumilie kukua wa Kenya because under the Ruto administration there is no hope of a better life tomorrow there isn't if it was there we would have seen it for now we haven't seen anything ni shida juu ya shida lakini baba nataka nikushukuru kwa sababu ya ku Simama imara kutetea wa Kenya na kutishikanisha sisi wote vyama tanzu vya azimio tutembee safari moja na mimi nadhani kuhakikishie hayo maneno ambayo 
kiongozi wao amesema Peter Munya wapate leader Baba I want you to rest assured that any mischief that this government wants to play pale kwa bunge watatupata kule we shall stand firm we shall stand firm and fight for what we believe to be the rights of the Kenyan people asandeni sana wana PNU and god bless you thank you very much promoters of Asimio and I did believably so because this country is losing hope and there is nothing worse than losing hope you can lose everything else but when you start losing hope you can lose you can have challenges many challenges but as long as you believe you can overcome them because that is hope but uh, citizens across the country, especially the young people who are cheated, that this government has an agenda for them. Those are the ones losing hope very quickly because they can't see. When they look ahead, they see darkness. And uh, it is not enough when you go to meetings to tell them, keep quiet. Mimi nataka. Mimi nataka. Unataka. Na wao wanataka nini? Umeuliza wanataka nini? It's not how loud you speak, how how firmly you pronounce yourself. This country will be changed by re properly thought out policies and the programs that address the issues affecting the citizenry. But if you are running our shoshi economy, our wash, wash government. Nothing is ever thought out. You just pronounce things. Dream out something at night, then the next morning you are announcing Kenya is going to be a visa free country. Which country in the world is visa free? So you are inviting criminals, networks across the world to come and cause havoc in your own country. criminal networks because there is no way I mean international relations is reciprocity if a country is friendly to you they give you that concession then you give them in exchange it is never given free I don't want to say the best example of that kind of approach <laughs> because if I say then uh, those who give things to anybody who fight don't want to say that, but you can't turn our country into that, that kind of uh, an approach. Anyway, <laughs> let me take this opportunity to invite my brother, whom we have worked closely with for many years, Wakili Mwenzangu, Kiongozi Wachama. Huko wakati tulikuwa tunaenda na yeye huko tulikuwa tunaita chama ya mbolea. Na tukasema kweli mbolea ni muhimu sana. Kuna eneo mbolea iko muhimu Kenya yote. Lakini najua Western Kenya kwa hata muhimu zaidi. Unajua chama ya mbolea? DAPK na kiongozi wake si mwingine ni wakili wa Malo ambaye amesimama kila mahali Asimio itajika Mambo ya sheria Ya naongoza hapa Pia ni makofi basi Na wimbo yake hiko Simpe hile Agane si chongo Agane swehe Agane si ndugu tuwa Yanza welinde mama We chunge na dava nubo usaba Yanza welinde mama We chunge na dava 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 DJ Asante Sana The Right Honorable Raila Molo Dinga The Second Prime Minister of the Republic of Kenya Na Party Leader Wetu PNU Ndugu Yangu 
Peter Munya, Party Leader Roots Party, Mheshimiwa Senator Wambua, Mheshimiwa Wandai na NEC members wa PNU. Hamjambo. Happy birthday. PNU. Siski mkisema sawa sawa PNU. Ujue mimi nilikuwa mmoja wenu nikiingia bunge niliingia kama mbunge wa kwanza wa PNU upande ule wa support. Nikiwa mbunge mara ya kwanza ni kupitia chama cha PNU. So hiki ni chama changu kilinipeleka bungeni. Si nimekuja nyumbani basi. Nikiwa waziri pia mara ya kwanza nilikuwa waziri kupitia chama cha PNU. Kwa hivyo nikija hapa I'm very proud party leader wa PNU wakili mwenzangu waziri mwenzangu kusema ya kwamba i'm very happy to be here today to witness the 15th anniversary of a great party in the republic of kenya nami nasema pnu is a great party sababu this is the party of mwai kibaki this is the party that brought free primary education in the Republic of Kenya. This is the party that brought the Vision 2030. This is the party that brought us the new Constitution 2010. This is the party that brought us devotion. Kwa hivyo PNU kiwa hapa, labda kuna wengine umekuja juzi, wale tulianzisha PNU we are very proud to be associated with a party that transformed Kenya na ambayo ilileta mabadiliko kwa maisha ya wakenya kupitia muungano uliokuweko kati ya rais Mwai Kibaki na prime minister Raila Molo Dinga Kenya so transformation Kenya saw some of the best policies ever policies that were transformative that changed the lives of all Kenyans indeed when we meet today and we compare PNU and the government the grand coalition government and the transformation that we realized through good leadership good policies and we compare with what is going on now in the republic of kenya we can only shed tears because kuna shida kenya hii jamani we are seeing today a government that has lost direction that has plans that have failed that has come up with failed policies trial and error policies Ukisikia mambo ya G2G ile walileta wakatuambia eti wameenda Uarabuni wana mpango mzuri sana utakao hakikisha ya kwamba mambo ya dola kwenda juu itakwisha Kenya badala ya dola kwenda chini dola imeenda wapi juu mambo ya mafuta ndiyo hiyo imewashinda wakasema eti wamepeana bilioni 16 kwa KNTC ku import vyakula bei ya vyakula ishuke badala ya bei ya vyakula kushuka imenda, imetoka bottom imeenda wapi up hawa ndio wamesema sasa mambo ya housing levy ndio hiyo mahakama imetupilia mbali mpango huo that plan has failed and all those who are trying to force that illegal housing levy Tunawaambia kwanza vile mahakama imeamua we want them to cease deducting money from Kenyans mara moja In fact we want to see them uh, refunding Kenyans money that was illegally deducted from their pay slip Hiyo mnaunga mkono All those are failed policies ambazo ukiangalia zile sera ambazo PNU and the Grand Coalition government ilileta 
kuna tofauti kubwa ni kama usiku na mchana and there's one good professor in oxford who once said that science without policy is still science but policy without research is gambling what we are seeing today as my brother munya has said roadside declarations so called policies that are ill researched that are failing day by day we can say what we have is really gambling with the lives of kenyans kwa hivyo tukija hapa kusherekea pnu let us also celebrate the greatest achievement pnu litulete apart from good policies pnu brought us national unity and it is indeed a party of national unity and Mwai Kibaki and Raila Odinga, we saw a united nation. We saw leaders who said Kenya is bigger than all of us. And they sought through the handshake to unite the country. These were selfless leaders. What we are seeing now is a total turnaround from what we saw. We have selfish leaders who are dividing the nation into a shareholder and non-shareholder king. When the president Zianda Kibaki was a symbol of national unity, the presidency under Ruto and Gashagwa has become a symbol of national disunity. And that is why we celebrate the party of national unity that brought unity in the Republic of Kenya. Staki ni seme mengi leo ni siku ya kusherekea pia ni siku ambayo tuko hapa kama wanaazimio tukiwa na kiongozi wetu wa azimio kuhakikishia wa Kenya ya kwamba we are united and we seek to unite this country just the way PNU is a party of national unity azimio ni chama cha kuazimia umoja wa taifa letu na hatutakubali tugawanywe ama tugawanyike Azimio letu ni kuunganisha wa Kenya taifa hili liwe taifa moja la wa Kenya wote bila ubaguzi ya shareholders na non shareholders. So hilo ndio jambo nataka tukiwa hapa tusherekee. Na tuseme watu wa PNU we would like to see a stronger PNU vile mme launch mambo ya registration leo. Sisi wana DAP pia tuko tunafanya hiyo registration. Wana ODM wanafanya hivyo hivyo tuko na roots hapa na Kenya waipa kila chama twataka tuwe na msisimko mpya tuwe na vyama tanzu vilivyo na nguvu katika taifa kila kona ya Kenya because a strong PNU ODM waipa DPK roots na Kenya will be a stronger as mio that is why we are here to celebrate this mkianza hii hatua we want to encourage you murudi nyumbani Naona umetoka pembe zote za Kenya nimeona kina mama kutoka Pwani hata tumeona msana wetu kutoka huko Kakamega tuataka murudi nyumbani msajili wanachama we want a strong PNU and a strong Azimio mtafanya